hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's nice to see you again if you're new to my channel welcome nice to see you nice to meet you by the way my name is hannah hannah sumox and diaries with music and travels meet together well today it's a different kind of vlog because because i'm gonna show you one of my heart diaries um actually one of the routine of a heart patient like me and um, for those who know me, I'm a heart patient. So for those who does not know me, I'm a heart patient. And I have this, I started this diary, this uh, story about myself and what it is to be an, a heart patient. Well, so today I'm going to perform an intramuscular injection for vitamin B12. And I'm going to tell you why I'm uh, why I need to do it and uh, what it's what is vitamin B12. So it's uh, today. It's not really a nice weather here in Rotterdam. It's cold, so that's why I'm having a sip of my tea, my favorite tea, and uh, it's just a gray weather. And um, well, I have a cheat here, so I'm just gonna tell you the important of what is vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 is also known as cobalamin. It's a water soluble uh, vitamin involved in the metabolism of every, in every cell of human body. And it's one of the eight B vitamins. It's a cofactor in DNA synthesis and in both fatty acid and amino acid metabolism. So it plays a very important role in our, in, in our body. So, um, why do I need vitamin B12 as an injection? Why I cannot take it as um, an, in a tablet form? Well, for me, because I am a B vitamin B12 deficiency. One of the reasons for that is I I'm easily get tired. And because I am a heart patient, I have a medication that um, can affect the way I eat. I cannot eat um, nutritious food with vitamin K and most of the of the food with vitamin K is also involved with vitamin B12 and so I am short of that vitamins um, vitamin v, vitamin K it's not good for me uh, as a heart patient because I have a titanium heart valve so that uh, heart valve should maintain a very thin blood so in order you have a thin blood you have to take a medication such as uh, comadine and um, asinocomoro as a blood thinner unfortunately i have to be very careful for what i eat so that's why um i am i cannot eat a lot of nutritious food like you guys so yeah vitamin b12 is injection is the solution and with the injection it absorbs right away in our body so um, um number one reason why i have vitamin b12 uh, it helps your heart to, to maintain your heart as, as a healthy so it's also give energy so if you're always tired and you think you are not performing the optimal energy that your body needs or performs so vitamin b12 is best for you and when you're down it will boost your um your mood into uh, in a in a good way in a normal way, so it helps to uplift your mood, which is I really 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 like because I really observe when I inject myself vitamin B twelve. I'm not forcing myself to to be a positive, but it just make your mood lighter and in 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 yeah in a good way. So it gives you a healthy skin and healthy hair. Who does not want that? Uh, ladies that's that's very nice especially if you have falling hair me i have a lot of falling hair because one of the um effect of the medicine that i'm taking and that's a big problem and i'm not happy with that um and also the important benefits with it it's uh, vitamin b12 it gives you a healthy brain and especially for those who are suffering with memory loss, it really helps. So you can also Google it and um, you can see a lot of benefits and uh, what is B vitamin B12 and what it does to your body. So if you, if you Google, you can also see the list of the food where you can get vitamin B12. So, 
So, okay. Um, now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna prepare all the, I'm gonna show you step by step how I'm gonna perform the intramuscular injection and um, disclaimer, again, I am a health worker. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this a lot of times for myself. And I also, um, yeah, work as a health worker. Um, so let's go upstairs and prepare all the things that we need. So what we need is a non-surgical hand gloves, a vial of vitamin B12, 2 ml syringe, 25 millimeter needle, 14 millimeter needle, a piece of a clean cotton, an alcohol, and also a biohazard container. So this is where we have to dispose our needles and the vial. So before I start the procedure, I always make sure that I wash my hands with antibacterial soap and um, after that, we're good to go. So I have here an alcohol and I'm going to apply this to the cotton, to a piece of cotton. And I'm going to use this later to clean the area where I'm going to do perform the intramuscular. So we have the vial. Always check the name and also the expiration date. It is very important and always make sure that there's no discoloration of the substance. So I do this in order to, um, to make the liquid settle down and I will grab a piece of cotton and this way I have to check the red dots as you can see. This is my point, uh, a guide for me where I will break the, the vial or open the bottle. I always dispose the glass into the hazard container, the biohazard container. It is very important to dispose our glass and our needles very safely. And now I will put this aside and I have here the 2 ml syringe. This is what I'm gonna use. I have here a 40 millimeter needle. This is also what we call the filter needle. This is what I'm gonna use to draw the substance from the vial. So after that, we have to make sure that there is no bubble inside the syringe. So what we have to do is to take that bubble out and to push a little bit liquid outside the syringe in order to take those unnecessary bubbles that form inside the syringe. This, what I'm showing you, is the wrong way to dispose your needles. The safest way is what we call the one hand technique. This way you will avoid any accident that's gonna happen during the procedure. So 
So now we're good to go and everything is ready. I choose my buttocks for the area where I inject the needle. Not only that, the biggest muscle located on this area, but it is also less painful. So I'm going to inject in the upper outer quadrant of my buttocks. This is the proper area to perform the procedure and if you do this right, this is less painful. But let me be honest to you guys, I still find this weird to do this kind of procedure. This is not easy to do this. Inhale and exhale properly before you do this so your body will be relaxed and you're ready to do the procedure the needle should go all the way in and i need to make sure that i will not hit any blood vessel so i'm going to pull up slightly with the plunger and if i see a tiny bubbles it means i'm good to go and if i see a red color that means it's blood i need to stop and do the procedure again So guys, after I perform the intramuscular injection, all the materials that I need, especially the needles, I dispose it in this yellow container. Yes, this is where we have to dispose our needles and all the materials that we use. We can also find this in the hospital, in the clinic, and me, because I'm using it, I perform it myself, so I have a standard yellow container at home. And that's all guys, that is how I perform the intramuscular injection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps you a little bit. I hope it gives you a little bit information about vitamin B12 and how it is a diary of a heart patient and to inform you a little bit. So once again, I see you to my next heart videos, so my next diaries. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Take care of your heart. Bye.